So apparently YouTube is back to having people pay for 4K videos. Did you hear that? Apparently they're like back to considering it, which is kind of a bummer. Um, Linus just did a video on it. Linus, teach me. Teach me your ways. What's going on? Come on, Twitch. Give me 4K already. 20 bucks for premium. Are you kidding me, Netflix? Linus! Jeez. Don't do it. RTX VSR. Upscale. Uh. Look. Wow, this is amazing. Put away your wallets, friends, because with a free driver update, NVIDIA RTX 30 and 40 series GPUs can use AI to upscale any video you play back in a web browser to... Okay, that's ridiculous. Okay, I went into this being like, it's going to be pretty cringe. It's going to be like just higher resolution, but the same thing. Look at this. This is like actually ridiculously improved. And it's probably, it. you can even see it probably through the stream. AI to upscale any video you play back in a Holy web browser crap. to 4K. Even this message from our sponsor, Zoho One. That's wild, dude. Cool and free feature called RTX Video Super Resolution or VSR which is not to be confused with AMD's Virtual Super Resolution, AKA VSR. Uh... Using a 30 or 40 series graphics card and a Chromium-based browser, so it's Chrome and Edge for now, with plugins expected for others down the line, you can take streamed content with resolutions as low as 360p and upscale them in real time all the way to 4K. Now That's freaking awesome. I was wondering when this was gonna be a thing. Cause I forget what I was. Oh, it was like, um, you know what it was? It was freaking survivor, dude. I was watching survivor through like my Plex server thing. And it was fi like the, it was filmed or streamed or posted in whatever, like four by three, like 360 P like it looks horrible. And so I was like, I wonder what, like I have a graphics card that allegedly can just upscale stuff. When is that going to be a thing that you can just stream videos and it just upscales it for you? And they did it. Obviously, we can't just take NVIDIA's word for this. So we collected a library of screen capture from a variety of genres and sent it to Mark, our editor and resident upscaling nerd, to see if he could spot the differences. And while we wait, I am going to try it for myself. We've got not one, not two, but three displays hooked up to our RTX 3050 graphics card. We chose the 3050 because it's the least expensive card with support for the new feature, for now. It could conceivably come to 20 series in the future since they also have the tensor cores that VSR relies on, but I wouldn't hold my breath. For my test, I'll be watching the same YouTube video on my three identical screens, but one is gonna be YouTube's 1080p just blown up to full screen in Firefox, which, if you recall, doesn't currently support VSR. One is gonna be YouTube's 1080p upscaled to 4K with VSR, and the last one will play at YouTube's native 4K. Okay. Uh, ah, I did it again! I'm back, I'm ready, but we did skip something important, setting it up. Once you've got the right GPU and the latest driver, you simply enable it in the NVIDIA control panel. Under Adjust Video Image Settings, you're going to want to set RTX Video Enhancement to On, and then Quality Level 1 is low, with Quality Level 4 being the highest. The community consensus is that 1 kind of sucks, 2 and 3 suck less than 1, and 4 is pretty good. So we've gone with 4. This is a pretty recent video. I can already tell that this is crap. Hmm. Hold on. No, I think I was wrong. I think that's crap. You're not supposed to judge the content of the video, Linus. Hey! <laughs> be nice. <laughs> this is way harder than it should be. Um, this is almost certainly native 4K. That's bad, that's upscaled. 4K, 1080p, upscaled. Yeah. Yes! The truth is, though, the only reason I can tell is that I noticed the artifacts because I'm looking for them. If I wasn't looking for them, Holy crap. Yeah, the one on the right is, it, it's its just less sharp, but like, wow. Even text, it's just sharper. Every yeah, that's pretty wild, dude. That's, that's pretty cool. Do I have this yet? Did this, I don't know if this like just dropped 23 hours ago, so it might be a thing. Hold on. 
And he said in the NVIDIA control panel, can I do this now? Resolution, where did he say it was? Desktop, no, video. Yeah, look at this. Video image settings. Oop, hold on. Video image settings, super resolution, quality to four. And now should I, what should I do? Should I, I can already tell this, they're doing something on this one. If I do like 360p, our industry icon. It's definitely, I, I can tell like this is already upscaled. It, it looks a little weird. Like it's a little washed out a little bit, but it's actually pretty, pretty good. Does this apply to live streams? Ooh, that's a very good question. I have no idea. Our industry icon this year will be the one and only Hideo Kojima. He's here this year. Out there. Dude, that's crazy. And it, it looks pretty good. Oh, look at it before, dude. Look how chunky it is. I don't, maybe you can't even tell. Well, let's, let's just remember this. So we'll do that. And then I'll turn this on. Super resolution four, apply. Go back to the video. Oh, did you see you just kick in? Okay, go back to paint. Dude, that's pretty crazy. Just look at the hands. The chunkiness in that, like his face is way clearer. Bro's so bad at computer. Yeah, I'm a professional. I'm a professional. I do this for a living. What about the faces like down here? There's like, it, there is a little bit of weird, like extra sharpness around the edges. But like, especially, especially his face, you can, you can definitely tell the difference. Freeform, I don't, I can't computer. But that's, that's pretty crazy, dude. That's not bad. I don't know, man. That's wild. I was not ready for that. That, I mean, that's, I was bracing for like, yeah, it's like, it says it's a higher resolution and maybe it is a little bit, but that's actually pretty freaking good. That's pretty wild. So what's the drawback? Nothing's ever free, right? Well, <laughs> while our RTX 3050 seems content with upscaling at a similar wattage to what it uses while just playing back video, the RTX 3080 in my workstation that we used when we were reviewing the script was a completely different story. Upscaling 720p Netflix, I saw anywhere from 80 to 120 watts of power usage. But upscaling 1080p 60fps Twitch like this saw my power settle in at over 300 watts. That's a lot, dude. That's ridiculous. Okay, wow. And he just said it works on Twitch. So presumably you could also use it for streams. Like you're watching a stream or a stream in 1080p, you could just upscale it to 4K. Watch, I mean, what would be awesome is if you could do this on your TV. Um, Cause like, I don't think I really need uh, like to watch a 4K stream on my, like on my computer, I'd like I'll be okay. But on the TV, that would be awesome. Or like my projector, that'd be great. But that's, that's pretty crazy, dude. On the GPU alone. That was without an obvious difference in upscaling quality compared to this 3050. Unfortunately, for many people around the world then, that's a trade-off they might not be willing to make. Not everyone seems to be seeing the same high power consumption, but we can only report on what we observe and that means that if you have the same kind of power consumption we do, and you have a high-end gaming PC, if you watch just four hours a day of upscaled content, that could cost you $230 a year in the UK. The EU average is just 25 cents per kilowatt hour right now, which will cut that. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, people are gonna be like, well, but per month, that's really not that bad. It's still like that much power differential is wild. That number in half, but some countries like Germany are right alongside the UK. 
LG has AI upscaling, don't they? LG does, Sony does as well, but it's their super resolution stuff, and I've never been impressed by it. I mean, personally, I've never been impressed by it. I mean, and, and I sold, as my job for like a year and a half, I sold Sony televisions and was trained on all of it, and the consensus was that it's not great. Maybe it's gotten way better recently, but as far as I'm concerned, it's never been that viable. I mean, at that point, you might as well just pay for the premium subscription. It's nearly as energy intensive as mining, except this time there's no cash reward to offset the power usage. When we monitor the GPU usage of the card though, we can see why it's happening. Rather than taxing the GPU's video decoding block, it's actually hitting the 3D rendering hardware. That means that if you're a multitasker and you like to have a Twitch stream up on your second monitor while you are gaming, VSR is gonna have a significant impact on your actual gaming performance. Mm. The good news, is that depending on the resolution of your secondary monitor, VSR is unlikely to be active at all times. NVIDIA can detect both the quality of the source file and the window size of the player. What that means is VSR is only turned on where it's warranted. And That's useful, okay. I was worried there for a minute because like if you have the video in a windowed page, it's not gonna turn on, that's weird. But, uh, or like, I was worried it would be turned on, but no, they can detect that and turn it off when it's not using it. You can see this with our GPU usage as I go from windowed mode to da -da -da -da, full screen mode. It's not perfect. At the moment, it works about as well as if you upscale the video file with the Artemis preset in Video Enhance AI, but that's not real time. And it's something that you have to premeditate, right? So this is pretty sick, but you can expect a lot of blur around boxes of text. Um, people can look a little too soft or too plasticky and trying to upscale from lower resolutions is still like trying to squeeze blood from a stone. But for our first try, technically second, if you count the Nvidia Shield Pro, it does a pretty good job and I am thoroughly <laughs> impressed. Impressed by this segue. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. It looks pretty good, at least on my end. I don't know. I mean, seeing that it, I guess I'm running a 4090. Let's see what this looks like, if, like how it affects performance that way. Okay. Okay, let's go 360p, a 360p video, all the way up on this, on this monitor. I'm also going to pull up the performance GPU. Okay. And then... Okay, gentlemen, y'all ready? Here we go. I'm not ready yet. Oh, do I still have it turned off? No, I have it turned on. Oh yeah, I can tell it's running there. This build is so good to the point I'm only using my mouse button to move. So the boss usually dies in about 10, you know, 15 seconds. So, so it's barely hitting mine, but let me move it up and run it full screen on my 4K monitor. I know you won't be able to see this, but I'm going to run it full screen over there and see if it hits it even harder. Okay, gentlemen, y'all ready? Here we go. I'm not ready yet. No. But I mean, I guess you could think about it. It's basically running at 10% utilization of the 3D cores. So like it is hitting the GPU pretty heavy. I mean, all of these, the lowest it'll work on is 360p. Come on, Twitch, give me 4K already. 20 bucks for premium. Are you kidding me, Netflix? Linus! Jeez. Don't do it. RTX VSR. Upscale! Uh... Look! Wow! This is amazing! Put away your wallets, friends! Because with a free... And I can tell it's running here a little bit, but it's definitely not running as much. And like, if I move this up to the secondary window, what if we're watching ultra wide? Driver update, NVIDIA RTX 30 and 40 series GPUs can use AI to upscale any video you play back in a web browser to 4K. Even this message from our- Yeah, for all of that, it was at like seven to 8%. So really, I mean, 
on the higher end 40 series cards it's not hitting it super hard but i i mean if you're playing a game where that utilization is going to be at 100 percent, and you're trying to game at 4k or you know ultra wide uh resolutions then yeah it's going to affect it i don't know true and the tr current trajectory uh requires a level of alarm uh yeah i mean ai is getting a little freaky for for real the one at the zoo? I have no idea what you're talking about. The original YouTube video. Me at the zoo. Oh, is this the original YouTube video? Like the, the one that started it all? Oh, I had no idea. I've never heard of this before. Okay, uh, here. I will go. Let me pull up the performance tab so we can see what it's running at. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, full screen. All right, so here we are in front of the uh, elephants. And cool thing. Oh, this might be 240p, yeah. It's not going to upscale this. It can only work with 360p and up. So it's not doing anything. If this were 360p, it could, but... Unfortunately, it won't work. Wah, wah, wah. I'm watching the stream on 360p with the super resolution setting on. It's not bad. Yeah. Like, it's it's definitely not as good as, like, the native stuff. You, I can tell when it's on. It's, like, a little grainy. It's a little weird. Um, but it really is passable. I, and I think it's an improvement over 360p, if I'm being real. So, I, I mean, props, NVIDIA. And this is like the first iteration of it. It's probably going to get better. Especially if they can bring down power usage. Um, if you're running like a 3050, 3060, 3070, I would guess it probably will tank frames if you're trying to watch it. Like watch videos at the same time. Um, what would be badass is if there was like a, a toggle in the player, like the video player. Maybe they add like a browser plugin where you can just turn it off with a click of a mouse button when you don't want it running so you don't have to pull up the control panel every time to do it. That would be cool. Dude, I wouldn't worry when they say AI uh, apart from chat GPT or a parent. No, I think apart. I don't know. Uh, Buzz because that stuff is nuts. But mostly they mean set of instructions that work independently on its own rule set. Yeah. Comparatively, though, Netflix is charging premium for 4K while the competition really doesn't have to charge much for it. It's embarrassing. I, I mean... Netflix is just desperate. Uh, they are losing subscribers. They don't have great content, so people don't see a reason to sign up for the first time or re-sign up. And so they're just trying to milk the rest of their customers for all they're worth. It was always going to happen. I mean, there's nothing really surprising about it. But...